Um, it was obviously very disappointing when we didn't get the game out of time. You know, we set ourselves a target to be there at launch, and it would have been fantastic to be there with all the excitement surrounding the PlayStation 4 because it was so successful. But as a studio, you know, we've, we've worked on games for, for 14 years now, and with every single game we've made, the focus is on quality. And we had to make sure the game was good enough. So, yes, it was disappointing, but everyone's happier as part of the studio because we've been able to have this extra time to make the game that we set out to make. You know, Driver was an ambitious title, and we had to fulfill all those goals before we were ready to get the game out. And I think everyone, when they get their hands on with the game as well, you know, they'll be satisfied because they know they'll, they'll be getting the experience that you know, we designed for them in the first place. And, well, some of the things we've been able to do with the PlayStation 4 is push it even harder. Because it's one of these things with any piece of hardware, you're able to learn tricks, new techniques, optimise your software, your tools. And with Drive Club, that means that obviously we've been able to address you know, the dynamic menu and fix all the social elements that we wanted to have inside the game. But it's going to look so much better. We've been able to add in new technologies, you know, better reflections, better shadows better anti-aliasing, better motion blur, you know, it's going to look better. But it's also going to sound better as well, because what we've been able to do is tie more of the, the sound elements directly into the physics. So that means you get a more accurate representation of the audio, which is already captured to a level never seen before. And same with the handling. It's something that we've just been able to refine more, add more kind of detail that sits underneath the simulation, that, you know, that makes the game you know, feel so tactile and natural but also make sure obviously we keep it very accessible and fun to play because that's the focus. I think um, because at Evolution Studios we're, we're very much gamers ourselves and we're, we're gamers on all platforms. We have people who play PC games or mobile games and you know, obviously on the PlayStation platforms as well. And so we, we think we like to take influence from all of these games. I wouldn't think I'd call out any one particular feature or any particular element from a game that we've kind of taken and gone, yes, that's what we want. But we've definitely learned from looking at other people's titles because you know, as an industry, we're all kind of growing together. We're all improving together because you know, we're kind of bouncing ideas off each other and making you know, the best you know, connected and social experiences possible. But obviously, you know, whatever we do, whatever we see in other people's games, we want to make sure it's tailored to our experience, which is why you know, some of the features you'll see inside Drive Club are unique to us, you won't see anywhere else. Um, it's not really about modifying it or kind of changing the way it works. It's, it's about making it kind of slick, seamless, this kind of almost invisible layer. Because one of the worst things that we found, uh, you know, originally was that it kind of got in the way a little bit. It was always, it was intrusive. It was something that kind of slowed down your interaction with the game. And we wanted to make sure that you know you were able to go from race to race to race very quickly and have those interactions without it interfering with your experience because you know the, the demands of the modern day game and nowadays you know people want to get through the game quickly and we want to absolutely you know support that. This that that thing is obviously um, it's a publishing decision. As a developer, we're not involved in terms of pricing or kind of the PlayStation Plus sort of, you know, what idea of whether you keep it or not. Obviously, we're always kind of, we'll, we'll always fight the corner for the gamers, but it's at the end of the day, that's always a Sony decision because, the, you know, they're the publishers and they deal with that sort of thing. It's something, obviously, that we're, we're still developing Drive Club right now. We're not out until October. And so we are starting to think about what we're going to do post-release because, you know, Drive Club isn't you know, a game we want to just put out there and then just go, that's it, we're done. We do want to kind of, you know, create new content. We do want to add new features, but we're only just starting to put those plans together.